Hey folks, how y'all doing? This is a video on my power bill for September, excuse me, de December. And today is the first day of winter solstice, uh, December 22nd, 2015. We're doing a little update on my system. And I plan on adding more solar panels in the future. Yeah, I'm thinking about it anyway. Uh, I'll probably add another 560 watts. Probably over there, somewhere in my garden spot, near my pool, near my heat pump. So I'll get sun on there all day long. I'll get shading this time of year. In fact, right behind me, these pine trees right here. Give me a little shading about a couple months out of the year. But I'm going to add more panels. Um, and I'll show you. Now, just bear with me. It rained, must have rained about an inch and a half last night. But over there in my garden spot, in that area up in there, uh, probably near my weather station. Um, probably somewhere in that area. I get a lot of sun there. So I'm going to have to have a good, all right, good long run of PV cable, but it'll be well worth it. Especially this time of year. This is the dog days of winter. We're not making 10, on a good day, maybe 9 kilowatt hours. But I like to see 10 every day. But anyway, let me show you a little something. What we got going on, the power bill and all that stuff. We'll go inside the solar shop now. Okay. Like I said before, we're not in the solar shop yet, but I got shade in there. But over here, in this area right along in here, uh, I, I'll, I'll have a lot of solar power. So I'm just trying to figure out where I'll put it, where I'll get the less the best sun for my application and I'm thinking somewhere I'm thinking somewhere right in this area right here is where I'm putting my pole and that way I can have solar out here that way it won't be in the way of my garden or anything I got and I can get rid of a lot of that shading and south is pointing this way so that would be super so that's what we're going for right now. That's what I'm thinking about in the future. But who knows? Well, I might have to play that when I go. I'm going to go from there, corner my shed, run my conduit, come down alongside the fence, um, just stay out of the way of my plow path, and come right around through here. Bam. Put another pole mount up. And we'll see how it goes from there. That's just an idea for the future. And I got my weather sensor there, so I want to kind of stay away from that for heat and different things. I want to stay right where I want it. But anyway, I'm, it's just an idea. But for summertime, I burn a little more energy in the summer because I'm swimming pool is running big time. I mean, it's running a lot of juice all day long and I want to that extra 560 watts will really, really get me up and going. And I'm going with the Kyocera KD40s, like I got on the, on the shade roof now. And I'm going to use an Iron Ridge pole mount uh, like that, except in the four, four panels. So I'm just thinking, I'm just tuning it a bit and just thinking of what I can do to help out the situation getting a little more power it's running out of room so if you know what I mean so I'm still thinking all right let's go into the power shop now but this area here gets a lot of sun and like I said I want to ruin my garden spot so I'm actually thinking about going over here near the swimming pool area so that way I can see a lot more sun and plus it won't hurt anything. Get away from the garden. 
So, anyway, we'll see how it goes. Okay, y'all. So, let's go. Let's go. Let me show you the power bill and explain it to you. All right. Okay, y'all. Right now we are producing uh, the temperature of the batteries is 75 degrees Fahrenheit. That is a perfect temperature for batteries, or 20 degrees Celsius. So that's my diversion loader for my wind turbines. And right now we're not making jack for power. 24.7 watts. And it's rainy. Conditions are bad outside. It's cloudy. It's foggy. So you have days like that. All right, but here is the electric bill. Let me look at my meat here. Okay. Anyway, mates, everything's doing real good. But my electric bill, power bill, is kicking butt. All right. Here's what we got, y'all. We brought one kilowatt hour. This this bill. One kilowatt hour okay I'm a grid tie battery backup on grid off grid my, my bill is eight dollars and fifty one cent so actually I'm paying seven cent a kilowatt hour so my bill explain it to y'all I, I have Dominion live in, I live in Virginia uh, the total bill is from November 12th through December 12th. Okay. The actual bill, okay, distribution service is $7.02. Tax was $1.42. So total bill was $8.51. So my actual bill, power bill, or percentage of power I use, was $0.04. Cent Plus one cent is five cent plus two is seven cent. That's all my electric bill was. So yeah, I mean y'all solar, these new batteries, um, with the battery heaters on them. I got these the the Outback Energy Cell 200 GH batteries, grid hybrid batteries, and they're doing a fantastic job. So anyway. Y'all got any questions, comments, please give me a holler. But yeah, y'all, I am, I had to share this with y'all. I am tickled. Solar really works. Every penny you put into it is worthwhile. Uh, like I say, here's my history. Last December, 81 kilowatt hours. Three for, I think February, yep. Yeah. Going on down the line. So, yeah, y'all, so. I'll give you a thumb, let y'all know what's going on, keep you updated. But one kilowatt hour. Of course, the weather's been warm. And plus, we had the we had the uh, new heat pump put in, which is a higher efficiency heat pump, Energy Star. And also, I got the underneath my house uh, conditioned. And if you've seen my other videos where I conditioned crawl space, it saved me a whole lot more energy. It's important. Solar. R factor in a home, um, heat pump, or whatever kind of heating system you're using, make sure it's efficient. But I just wanted to share that with y'all. Okay, folks. We all have a good one. Um, this is KVUSMC. Thank you for watching. And please subscribe to this update on my power bill and how good solar and wind really is. It's worthwhile every cent you put into it. Uh, you're saving money when the um, power is up and running. And when the power goes out, you still have a means of having power. Uh, keep your refrigerators going, your well, th that sort of thing. If stuff hits the fan, hey, you got it covered. So just trying to let y'all know out there, it's a great thing to do. Solar wind is worth worthwhile plus the tax credits that uncle sam gives you 30 percent on all your equipment or anything you, you do pertain to solar geothermal all that kind of stuff it's really good to go
All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. God bless and supper fire. Y'all have a great day now, y'all. Hey, and Merry Christmas if I don't make another video, but I hope to make another video between now and then. All right, y'all take care. Bye-bye.